hanging out with my boy when one suggested we make a run. Call my lady to tell her I'm staying out to have some fun. Driving around the hood in a souped up Ford. Not much was happening. We became bored. We decided to get something to eat at a local fast food. That's when we met this jerk who disrespected us by being so rude. When we entered the fast food place, a look of disgust could be seen on his jerk face. It was very obvious hearing this stain in his tone, saying to myself, he got a lot of nerve being here all along. I told my boys, let's not spend our money here. Behind bulletproof glass, this fool has little to fear. One of my boys said, listen up, he has a plan to wait around a corner for this stupid man. Steady in the Ford, just around the block. Our only concern was the time on the clock. Watching him through the window, doing his last minute chores. Our plan was to ambush him as he locking the front door. While we were waiting, I noticed this strange man looking our way. Wondering to myself, is this a good place to stay? There was something about this man I couldn't put my finger on, but a sudden flash swept through my mind about being reborn. He seemed to be able to communicate to me through my thoughts, asking me, have I forgotten everything I've been told? Memories of being a choir boy, standing in bright light, being taught by the priest about what's wrong from right. A flash of this jerk and caught my head of him going home to kiss his wife and kids. Suddenly I thought, who gives me the right to take this man's life, bringing nothing but turmoil to his loving wife. Breaking my thought, a boy said, it's time to move. What are you waiting on? We don't have much time to lose. Having a change of heart, I said, this isn't for me. With love for my fellow man, my mind had been set free. Quietness took over my so-called friend when I explained that we shouldn't be doing this because he just stepped in. because he stepped in.